<laughs> All right. Good morning, wherever you are. Good afternoon with us here. All right. So <clears throat> we are picking up now and we are continuing the Levite blood rites. Right. So we are at chapter eight, verse 15. After the most I told Moses. All right. Go get Aaron. He's, <laughs> he's all the way over there in the back. Yes. Over there, far <laughs> off on account of what happened with this golden calf. Mm -hmm. Right. So go get him. Bring him back up here. Mm -hmm. I need to deal with this. Right. And Moshe killed the bullock. Verse 15. And Moshe killed the bullock and the bullock. And Moshe took the blood and put it upon the horns of the altar round about with his finger, anointed the altar to expiate it from all double-mindedness, mm -hmm. constraint, and force from the thoughts of his heart. Should any one of the princes of the sons of Israel have taken his separation from his brethren by violence mm -hmm. and bought it for the work of the tabernacle, or lest anyone was found among the children of Israel who had it not in his heart to bring for the work, mm. <clears throat> but heard the voice of the crier, heard the voice of the one who is petitioning, who is requesting for the aid and assistance to build the tabernacle and the sanctuary and the schools and everything else that needs to be built and was constrained and brought without willingness. Therefore cleansed he it with the blood of the bullock and poured out the rest of the blood at the foot of the altar and sanctified it to make atonement thereon. Mm. <clears throat> so the sanctification and the reason why we're putting blood on the altar and cleaning it is for all of these reasons. So before we atone the priest, right? Mm -hmm. So now they just put the hands on it to transfer the, the guilt onto the priest. And then we take the blood of this to cleanse it for all the hidden issues behind why people don't make the right decision. Wow. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Why they don't support the righteous and good things. This is the tone. We clean the altar, we put a little bit of blood and wipe it off just to do this. And he took the fat that was on the inwards and the call of the liver and the two kidneys with their fat and Moshe burned them at the altar. But the bullock and the skin and the flesh of his old foul. He burned in fire without the camp. So nobody got that. All right? Mm -hmm. As Yah commanded Moshe. And he took the ram for the burnt offering, and Aaron and his sons laid their right hand upon the head of the ram, and he killed the ram, and Moshe sprinkled the blood upon the altar round about. And he divided the ram after its parts, and Moshe burned the head and the parts of the fat and the inwards and the feet he washed with water. And Moshe burned the ram at the altar, a burnt sacrifice to be received with acceptance and oblation before Yeya, as Yeya commanded Moshe. Mm. So the bullet was completely burned. Ah, because what? You have the bullock for the atonement of the whole congregation. And then the ram, the sheep. Right. Now you have the ram and this is, we still, this is just the sins of Aaron here. Yes. Right. So we cleanse for the whole congregation and the bullock to atone for the whole of the congregation. Now we have the two rams. So the mm -hmm. first one is a burnt to be received with acceptance. And he brought the second ram. The ram of completion, which completed all. And Aaron and his sons laid their hand upon the head of the ram, and he killed the ram. And Moshe took of its blood and put it upon the 
the extremity of Aaron's ear, right? Mm -hmm. The middle cartilage of the right ear and upon the middle joint of his right foot. Mm -hmm. Right? And he brought the sons of Aaron and Moshe and put the blood upon the middle cartilage of their right ears and upon the middle joint of, of their right feet. And Moshe poured out the remaining blood upon the altar round about. See that? That's the completion now. So now we've sanctified <clears throat> for the whole congregation that has one bullet. Mm -hmm. Now we have one ram, mm -hmm. right? And this is just for the Levites. And this, the Levites, this is the sons of Aaron, as we perform this. And now they're being set apart. And we're putting the blood now on them, mm -hmm. right? In certain places, on the right ear, right. on the right of the foot, mm -hmm. right? So, and then he took the fat, verse 25, and he took the fat and the tail and all the fat which was upon the inwards and the call of the liver and the kidneys and their fat and the right shoulder, and from the basket of unleavened cakes, which was before Yaya, he took one of the leavened cakes mixed with oil and one wafer and put it upon the fat and upon the right shoulder and laid the whole in order upon Aaron's hands. So he took the bread, one piece of bread, one loaf of bread, mm -hmm. took this, he made a plate. Mm -hmm. Okay, so everything's cooked. Yes. He took the bread and the meat, made a plate, put it in Aaron's hands, right? Mm -hmm. And upon the hands of his sons and lifted them up for an elevation. Mm. So he had, they all have their hands on this plate and he tells them, okay, lift your hands up for an elevation. They go through this, right? Mm -hmm. Before Yaya. So he lifted them up in elevation before Yaya. And Moshe took them off their hands, so he took the food off their hands and burned them upon the altar of burnt sacrifice. A completing offering were they to complete all, to be received with acceptance before Yaya. And he took the breast and uplifted it, right? Mm -hmm. And the elevation before Yaya, the breast is the ribs in case y'all asking any questions. Mm -hmm. Right. So, you know, when they divide it, they divide it in half and you have a right breast and a left breast. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. An elevation of the oblation ram that was and that and that was the separated portion of Moshe. So Moshe takes the left side as Yaya commanded Moshe. And Moshe took the consecrating oil and of the blood which was upon the altar and sprinkled upon Aaron, upon his vestments, and upon his sons, and on their vestments with him, and sanctified Aaron and his vestments, and his sons and their vestments with him. And Moshe said to Aaron and to his sons, Boil the flesh of the oblations. <laughs> Boil mm -hmm. the flesh of the oblation in pots at the door of the tabernacle of ordinance, and there shall you eat it with the bread which is in the basket of oblation, according to the precept which was spoken. Aaron and his sons shall eat it. Mm. So now Moses is the king, right? And so the sacrifices, so of the, the third, the, the, the third sacrifice, the second ram, right? They got the right. Mm -hmm. He got the left. Right? Now they're separating all the members. Right? Mm -hmm. Now he tells them, okay, of the one that's for the oblation, mm -hmm. boil it. Boil it in what? Boil it in wine, boil it in oil, boil it in water, cook it, mm. curry it, season it up, <laughs> make it tasty, and you can eat it, not inside here, 
outside in the courtyard, you're free to eat it. Mm. <clears throat> and what remaineth of the flesh and the bread you shall burn with fire. And from the door of the tabernacle, you shall not go forth seven days mm. until the day that your consecration be completed. Because in seven days is the tabernacle set up and taken in pieces. So it takes seven days to put it up <clears throat> and seven days to take it down. And your oblation be offered. Right? So they got to, it takes seven days to put it up. It takes seven days to take it down. Okay? Mm -hmm. This thing is an ordeal. All right? It's not fast. You can't put it up in an hour. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is what right. it takes. Mm -hmm. All right? And they have to sit here now with the tabernacle since Moses put it up. Mm -hmm. Moses put up the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. Now he's consecrating them. The tabernacle's up. He's like, now nah, y'all got to sit here for seven days now with this tabernacle and watch over it in seven days. Because mm. seven days it takes to put it up and seven days it takes to take it down. Mm. Sit there. This yours, this your responsibility. Mm. Right? So did he and ordain the order of the oblations on that day. So now Moses did it, Aaron did it, and this is the ordering of the oblations on this day. Mm. Took some time to get here. So everything you've read that's going on in Leviticus chapter 1 is putting it in the date and time after the golden calf incident. Mm -hmm. Okay? Likewise, Yah hath commanded to be done by you after the days of consecration to make atonement for you. At the door of the tabernacle of ordinance, you shall reside day and night seven days. And watch the vigils of the word of Yaya, that you may not die, for thus it hath been commanded. So now they have to sit down and they have to keep a 24-hour, seven-day watch. There's mm. four prayers. Again, and I've said 24 hours, but it's not 24. It's actually 18. For we have an 18-hour day by command. Mm. Nine hours a day, nine hours a night. Mm. Okay? But they have to keep this total watch for the whole day. And for those of you asking, how does your time divide? For us, the hour is about an hour and a half. If you keep, you know, the mark of, you know, 60 seconds. If you keep that. Mm. All right? It can be divided differently, you know, mm. but... According to the 60 second mark, it would be an hour and a half of your time. That's our one hour. Dang, so, our one hour is an hour and a half? Yeah, 90 minutes. Mm, interesting. <laughs> wow. All right. And Aaron and his sons did all the things which Yah had commanded by the hand of Moshe. And on the eighth day of the anointing of Aaron and his sons, and the eighth day of that congregation of that consecration, being the first day of the month of Nisan. So this is the end of the week, the last seven days of Adar. Now it's the first day of Nisan. See how that worked out? Yes. So this started on the 22nd. And it ends on the first day of Nisan. So it went for eight days. Mm -hmm. All right. When Moshe had erected the tabernacle, he took it not down neither ministered any longer at the altar. But Moshe called Aaron and his sons and the elders of the Sanhedrin of Israel. And he said to Aaron, 
Take thou a calf, a young of a bullock for a sin offering, that Satana may not accuse thee concerning the calf that thou madest at Horeb. Mm. So now that we are at this point, I am going to say something so (laughs) controversial. Satana is an accuser, but he's not the liar. I'm going to say it again. He is going to bring up the accusation of the sin you committed, especially the ones that you commit by force. Mm. Right? So Aaron made the golden calf under duress, Mm -hmm. not of his own free will. He still did it, so he's still guilty. Right. But now we're making the sacrifice now for Aaron and for his atonement. Mm. Right? Right. We're making the sacrifice now for Aaron and his atonement Mm. because this wasn't of his free will. Right. So now we can make the sacrifice And the Satan cannot accuse you of this sin because the atonement is made for you because you did this sin inadvertently. You didn't intentionally do this. Didn't say the Satan was a liar. No. Why? You did it. Mm -hmm. But it's not of your free will. So if you out there dating and sleeping with women and not marrying them, you know it's wrong and you're doing it. Nobody is forcing you. I suggest you stop now. You will not. You will not have any peace. There is no afterlife for you. There is no heaven. You will get in the fire of hell and be good fuel (laughs) for burning. Mm. I'm sorry. I just want you to know. Mm. Okay. Same thing I'm telling you. I'm telling you this again. The Satan is not a liar. Nobody lies in the presence of God. He's not a liar. What he says about you is true. Mm -hmm. However, there is atonement before this altar, which we are building. There is atonement in this tabernacle, which we are building and no place else. What? Yeah, I'm telling you, because we're building it, the other ones get to come down. Mm. All right. Mm-hmm. So I ain't no. Oh, forgive me, Father. <laughs> no, nah, no saying you're sorry. You go back to the same sin. You understand? That's right. Mm. <laughs> you cannot say, "Oh, forgive me," and go back to it and. Yeah, if, as long as I say I'm sorry, I, he forgive me. No. 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 Now there's a price, which is why we're building it, to bring justice, to make people stop and cease for sinning, because now the price for sin is expensive. Mm-hmm. All right? Okay, and take a ram. Another one. Here we go now. So there's now you need a bullock for Aaron. Mm -hmm. And take a ram for the burnt sacrifice that there may be a memorial for thee of righteousness of Isaac, whom his father bound as a ram on the mountain of worship. Both of them shall be perfect and bring them before Allah. Now, 
Y'all gonna get real mad at me. So, because it's the first day of Nisan, this is the Eid where we make this celebration for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm. The Muslims still keep this every year. Wow. It's called Eid. Mm. Okay, it's not the one for the Hajj. There's another one. We make this, everybody got to make a lamb every year. It's always in the first of the fall. It's the first day of Nisan. See? You didn't know that, right? I know you didn't. You're out there doing what you want to do. You don't know what's true, what's not true. Salam alaikum, my brothers. I love you for the keeping the honor of Isaac and Abraham and Jacob and Ishmael alive. I love Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. <laughs> you mad now? You angry? I don't care. <laughs> now they, they think the only feasts are what? In Leviticus 23, those are the only feasts. No, 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 no. And the children of Israel spoke. He's saying, take for yourselves a kid of the goats. Because Satana resembles him. <laughs> you out there with the, with the seed of the Satana anyway. You know? All these people, you with them. Lest he recount against you the accusation concerning the kid of the goats, which the sons, the tribes of Jacob killed, and offering him for a sin offering and a calf, because you worshiped the calf. Now the sin offering that they, they made, remember they sold uh, mm -hmm. Joseph. Yes. And to and to Egypt, and then they they killed the goat mm -hmm. to try to cover it up. Yeah, in there uh, around the time when Ashley says the is the first day of the captivity. Yeah, same thing, mm -hmm. same time. Whew. You go in and out, same time, same season. Mm. All right. A lamb of the year that there may be for you a memorial of, my, of righteousness of Isaac, whom his father did bind as a lamb, both of them perfect for a burnt offering. So now there's two lambs mm -hmm. with a bullock and a lamb for a hollowed oblation to sacrifice before Yah, that he may be gracious to you. So no sacrifice, no grace. <laughs> Done. Finished. I don't want to hear any more about grace. Yeah, we don't have none right. <laughs> and the minkya mingled with oil of the olive. For this day will be glorious of Yahya Shekinah be revealed unto you. Okay? And Aaron and his sons and all the sons of Israel hastened and took what Moshe commanded and presented them in front of the tabernacle of ordinance and the whole congregation drew near and lifted up their heart fully before Yeya. Mm. This is important. So they gave the sacrifice, they gave everything, everything being made, all atonement is done and fulfilled. Everybody is sitting down eating. And Moshe said, this is the thing which you must do. Put away the imagination of evil from your heart. And there will speedily at once be revealed to you the glory of the Shekinah of Yaya. Mm. I'm going to stop right there. Get rid of your crazy imagination. 
the fear of enemies, everything at once. And you will understand and see the glory of the Shekinah. You will be able to read and see what we are saying is true in the face of what everyone else is telling you. You will see that what we are saying to build is needed and necessary. And then the Shekinah can come to you and you will say, how have I been so blind? <laughs> mm. All right. That's our time for today. We'll see you all tomorrow. One step, one step. One. <laughs> mm -hmm.